Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and we're going to talk about Limbo. Um, John Sayles is one of my very favorite screenwriters and a very fine director as well, and he's made a lot of great films. Uh, this one I'm particularly fond of for a lot of reasons. Um, one is uh, there's a certain thing that all of us do in the arts. Uh, we steal from each other. Um, I think the trick to uh, a good theft is you do it in such a way that the original artist doesn't even notice that you stole from him. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it uh, in, in its specifics, but I stole the ending of this film blind uh, from my script to a history of violence. And I'm happy to say I did a good enough job that when I met David Strathern, who's the star of this film, um, in 2006, we had a long conversation about both films. And he had absolutely no idea that I had stolen the ending to his film. So I think I managed to pull it off. And in fact, I stole it well enough that I can tell you and still not give away the ending to Limbo. So anyway, here it is, the trailer for John Sayles' Limbo. Welcome to Alaska, America's last frontier. John Sayles is a great screenwriter who's kicked ass in every genre. Horror films, gangster films, sports films, love stories, fairy tales, thrillers, historical epics. You know, if all he had done was written the screenplay for The Howling, I'd still be talking about him today. But one of the many things he does so well is to dive into locations and dive in really deep. He really understands the time and place of where his movies are set and how people live where they live. Think about it, you know, Lone Star captures aspects of Texas you've never seen on film. The Secret of Rowan Inish and Ireland. One of my favorites uh, that has never come out on home video and has to, goddammit, is City of Hope. Sales had a bit of an edge there because the movie is more or less set in New Jersey and he's from New Jersey. But none so much for me at least as Limbo, which is set in Alaska. Uh, I've never been there. Um, I'm hardly an authority on the subject, but there's something about this film where you just get the sense you're watching the real thing. This is how people live there, or at least as close as possible for a movie to come. It is a lovely, delicate story about two middle-aged people who find each other and cautiously start to fall into a relationship, each carrying a lot of baggage from their past. Uh, David Strathern is always brilliant in the lead. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio is a fantastic uh, actress uh, in the other part. Um, and there's also a fantastic turn by Vanessa Martinez, who plays uh, Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio's daughter. All that would be terrific, but then there's a wonderful left turn in the film as the three characters end up stranded on a deserted island, hoping for rescue, but the odds are against it. It just isolates all the themes and all the ideas of the film and, and just really ends up being about how, you know, the leap of faith you have to take if you want to really commit yourself to a, an adult relationship with another human being. The ending, I think, is perfect. Uh, the movie ends when it's over. Some people disagree, they're wrong. I can prove it with a calculator. And then when the movie is over, one of the most haunting songs you'll ever hear. Uh, John Sayles directed several very big videos for Bruce Springsteen back in the 80s, Born in the USA, Glory Days. Uh, they're both from Jersey, uh, so there's a relationship there. And he called up Bruce and asked him to write a song for the film. And Springsteen turned in a song unlike anything he's ever done. It is sung in a high falsetto. It is beautiful, it is vulnerable, it is gut-wrenching, and it fits the film like a glove.